Hey, what's up, guys? Mike's here. Okay. Well, wait, what happened to my hair? Oh, that's odd. Feels like an indifferent person. Well, I'm gonna have to shuffle around right here so I don't want to mess up. Wait. Ah. Much better. Well, anywho. There are two more chapters already. It's still there on uh, Welcome to Java Reactive. No, 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 wait. So, I got lots of things to do right here for the Unexpected Visitor. And I have a lot of things too. The other fan fictions I will be reading. Yeah, I got lots of work from going on there. So, I have to keep myself on track on what am I going to read. Because it's never, it's going to be happening on every weekend. So, just be, just be, just be curious about it. Right, today we'll be reading chapters 32 and 33, and um, we'll find out. Alright, chapter 32, The Secret Location. That's a new one. Out to the sea, Cole and Carol have themselves a boat and are floating their way to their destination. Carol rowing and getting tired. Please, let me take a turn. If we're keeping a low profile, at least let me help row. No, no, I won't hear of it. You saved me last time. This time, let me take care of you. Besides, I don't want you to use your strength. And stops rowing and turns to see the lighthouse. Oh, look, we're almost there. The lighthouse where Zane's father was held captive. I hadn't been in here for ages. Gets an idea and jumps into the sea. Cole! And starts to swim and push the boat in the water. You said I couldn't row. I'm not rowing. So they docked up on the shore of a small island and head inside the lighthouse. They both head up the long flight of upstairs to the main room. Well, it may be rare, but at least it's a place to hide. And Cole puts the bag on the table and all the content falls out of the bag. Just then, a small light beeps. Then, a small cupboard opens to reveal a small robot that jumps on the table. I forgot that same father liked his toys. Let's see, we have food and drink for a week. He puts them on the table, but the robot puts them back in the bag. Change the clothes. But still on the table, but the robot puts them back in the bag as well. In the vital poison, Narcon doesn't know we have. And puts it on the table, but the robot puts back in the bag again. And finally, one pot of travel tea, but only as a last resort. Puts the pot on the table, the robot puts it back in the bag again. You want to go over the plan again? Okay, if Narcon shows up. We shot him with a poison. Then when he can't use his magic, I say my last wish and save Ninjago. I wish Zane told me it's set from my heart. A heart that doesn't know what it could be but set incorrectly can make everything everything ten times worse. You'll think of it. You always do. Then the tiny robot zips up the bag. Let's get settled in. We can use the peace and quiet to think all we can do now is hope the police and can find Narcon before Narcon finds us. But what they don't know is that a figure is watching them. Well, ironically, I know who is the robot. Ironically, they're ironically who's the robot there because I know, I know, I just know who it is. So ironically, I know. Let's get started for chapter 33 and see how it goes. Chapter 33, Blue Ribbon Swimmer. In the meantime, up in the sky, on this fortunate keep, you could threaten us all you want, not calm, but we do no good. We don't know where they are, and I must warn you, I'm a Blue Ribbon Swimmer. I want three straight champions in my heyday. Hmm. Points to Simon and Tommy. But aren't they good swimmers? Choose who goes first. I 
I can't. They're both like sons to me. Nadega gets closer to the two detectives and makes them stand on a plank. Well then, I'll make both of them. Alright, alright, alright. Jack with Tommy. I never liked him anyway. Me? Simon's the only one who nearly spilled the intel on the tiger when the venom. I, I forgot I said that. That's why I never liked you, Tommy. Tiger when the venom? You mean that poison that can hurt the captain? She said you dump it out. So, the ninja still had it. I'm not gonna say another word. Except for Geronimo! It jumps off the plank and lands in the sea. The commissioner looks at Simon and shrugs his shoulders. The commissioner shouts Geronimo. Crap. The commissioner shouts Geronimo. Damn it. The commissioner shouts Geronimo and lands near Tommy as he's holding onto a metal boy. Buoy. Dang it. Simon follows the commissioner. Commissioner and falls into the sea beside him. Look on the bright side. They still don't know where to look. Bright side? They stranded us in the middle of the forsaken ocean. Don't worry, boys. And start swim. Blue ribbon swimmer. Except that we got company. All turn to see two shark fins swimming towards them. The commissioner's eyes start to twitch. But I switching. I know. I know. I'm not blind. So the commissioner and the two detectives are now surrounded by two circling sharks in the middle of the forsaken ocean. Wow. Well, at least they put it on that little side. You know, side. I don't know what that is called, but yeah, that's it, guys, for today. And hey. There's more chapters to come, so keep an eye on that, because I have so many fanfic readings here, so just keep an eye on that, okay? So just keep watching, right? Okay? Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye.